So don't you worry, grown up that the kids do it only. <laughs> hey kids, Petaluma Pete here, and we're in downtown Petaluma today, and we're going to show you a different hat. Really different. Now what do you suppose this is? We're about two blocks away from the downtown firehouse, and we're going to learn a new word. That word is ready. You ever heard that word before? Well, come with me, and let's find out what it's all about. Now, ready, kids, is a word that means completely prepared or in fit condition for immediate action or use. Such is the case with the downtown Petaluma Firehouse, kids, and we thought it might be fun to show you how a fire engine is more than just a big red truck that pumps water. It's also the biggest toolbox you will ever see. So our firefighters will have what they need in any emergency, making them ready for anything. Now, no old firehouse is complete without a pole to slide down, kids, and this one is no exception as our new friends lead us to what they call the apparatus floor. It looks like a big garage to Petaluma Pete, but regardless, this is where we were introduced to a big, shiny fire truck, a 1986 Pierce, number 9385. This was the frontline engine up to about two years ago when it went into reserve because the new engines have computer chips. You know they say the average life of a fire engine is 15 years. Old number 9385 here lasted 22 years and it's the only one that has a walk-through pump panel. But that's a subject for another video kids because we are here to show you fire engines are also the biggest toolboxes in captivity. These guys actually call this their toolbox because they need to have everything on the truck and assume that there is nothing where the emergency is to help them help you. If it's a fire, sometimes firefighters have to destroy parts of a building in order to save it or save other buildings. This tool is called a pipe puller. They use it to pull down pipes, and ceilings, and walls, or anything else they need to get out of their way. This is a Johnson bar, named after a New York firefighter who invented it. And this is a Halligan, a forcible entry tool that was designed to break locks and force doors open, named after another New York firefighter. And here's a trusty old axe, kids. They have six pound, eight pound, some with flat heads for forcing entry into doors. They have wood handles, plastic handles. They also have shovels and sledgehammers, bolt cutters, squeegees, extra nozzles, road flares so people can see them at night, brooms for cleanup, also a lockout kit for when the next time one of your adults accidentally locks you and the keys in the car and they call this the engineer compartment kids this is where they keep their spanner wrenches spanner wrenches are used to tighten or loosen hose caps and hose caps connect the water hoses to the side of the truck this toolbox holds other toolboxes with tools you see around the house like screwdrivers and hammers and cables for night lights. And this is called a Circle D light. Circle D lights are used outside and inside during the fire and for investigations after the fire. They also carry chainsaws, so they will be ready when they need to cut holes in the roofs to let out smoke and gain access to attics from the outside. Here's another toolbox they call the medical compartment, kids. This is where they keep a heart monitor, the same kind that they keep in their ambulances. Or I guess that could be their ambuli. 
This electronic device can be used to restart your adult's heart after they realize they forgot to check the batteries in your home fire detectors. And look at this, kids. It's a medication road box. This box is just one more tool, and it holds things like saltwater IVs, bee sting allergy medicine, pain medicine, nitroglycerin for heart patients, the same nitroglycerin they use in dynamite, and they actually have two medication boxes, an orange one for adults and a black pediatric box for kids only. But wait, there's more. Here's a river rescue and rope rescue compartment, kids, with a personal flotation device complete with a whistle and a knife to cut rope if they have to, and my favorite, a personal beacon that flashes on and off so the rescuer can see where the rescue is taking place in the water at nighttime, because they also have a boat. That's what I call ready, kids. And you know what else? When firefighters go into a burning building, they can't breathe the air, so they also carry something that pushes a whole room full of air down into one of these small cylinders. These are self-contained breathing apparatuses, or in this case, I guess, apparati. We were told that fire can get hot enough to burn concrete, even metal kids. So they also carry different types of fire extinguishers for different types of fires. And if that isn't ready, I don't know what is. Here's another medical compartment with what they call a red bag. This is an airway bag. In here there are tubes, oxygen masks, oxygen bottles, blood pressure equipment, and even a stethoscope so they can listen to your lungs. And this is a C-spine bag with C-collars in it, which is used for when people get in automobile accidents. C-collars are used to brace your neck and help keep it stable. Well, kids, the bad news is that we are running out of time, and believe it or not, this only scratches the surface when it comes to all the tools that are carried on a Petaluma fire engine. The good news, however, is that these firefighters have agreed to let Petaluma Pete come back again and again to show you more ways that they do their best to be ready to help you whenever you need it. So until next time, kids, remember to be nice to everyone, listen to your teachers, and eat more veggies.